Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is uh, May 10th, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research, make your own decisions. I'm just having fun here and rambling while the camera is on. So uh, today, Palantir closed down $18.47. It closed at 18.47, down 1.28, down 6%. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, post market, we are at 18.34, minus 13 cents. Let's look at what is happening here on the chart. Uh, so, uh, okay, so basically, uh, yeah, we have been having a lot of red candles. We thought uh, Palantir would be stopping at 22, sorry, at 21. We had a support at 21. Support was broken last week, was broken, was used as resistance. See, this, this candle started there and, and went down. And uh, there was a support at 1906. Support at 1906 was broken today. So look at this, we, we opened above 1906, then, we went straight down, went straight down, and we uh, the low of the day is eighteen eighteen, which corresponds to uh, to this here. So if you see this support at eighteen eighteen, so we had that uh, that support on uh, November twentieth. We had that support, and it seems like uh, we are we are reusing. Stocks tend to reuse resistance and uh, support lines that were drawn in the past. They tend to um, to reuse them. So this is what has been happening. We have another big, uh, big support. Uh, 18 is not a big support. 19 was. Uh, what is the definition of a big support? A big support is when many candles, the bigger the support, the bigger the number of candles have been touching it either as resistance uh, or as support. So the more times uh, the stock touches a line, then the more confident we can have as to that line in the future. So basically $16, $16 uh, is an interesting uh, support. Look at what happened here on um, around November of last year. So see, one, two, three, four, five times. So five candles touch it, touched it during five separate days. So, uh, so this is the sixteen dollar support. So maybe this is into play. If things uh, keep going like they are, uh, this might we might uh, very well go down to that point. But we don't know because. Uh, tomorrow, so tomorrow after uh, the market, then is going to be the earnings report from Palantir. So depending on what are the news, did Palantir make a tremendous profit? If they did, then the stock might just rebound. We don't know. So, uh, so tomorrow, um, I don't think we are going to see it in the chart tomorrow night. We are going to see it in the chart, uh, most likely on Wednesday. Let's go to the hour chart to see if we see something else, uh, dive in deeper. So, uh, so we have been in this, uh, bear trend, this local bear trend for a while since uh well it really started since april 26th and we have been bouncing on it quite religiously even uh, even if you remember this uh, may 7th may 7th we went and we bounced on it i think i had drawn it like maybe yeah it should be drawn like this so we almost crossed it here then we were rejected by it we went down and today much like Tesla, we just we just opened here above uh, 19, above the the 19 support. Then froom, we went super fast, super down, and then basically the stock has been trading sideways uh, the rest of the day. So we have this support here, this this diagonal support. So at right around 1860, 
that was broken briefly and then at 10 30 the, the 10 30 30 candle broke it back up so we uh, respected it as support uh, we have been respecting it as support since then and uh and now the stock is trending sideways most likely waiting for the earnings report Let's go back to finish this up by looking at the indicators. In terms of indicators, uh, stochastic is extremely low, 3.62. 3.62, we had some low numbers here in the past, 371, 9, uh, 5, and also 9 again. I think it's a 9, yeah. It's a nine. So, so we have had some some lows, and then these lows have have uh, how can I say it? Have most likely. Well, I'm looking here. Did this low create a run up afterwards? A little bit here. So, see here it it ran up a little bit. Here ran up a little bit, not for long. Here it was still going up so it ran up a little bit so yeah so these types of stochastic like three are so low that it's uh, it's quite rare for a stock to uh, remain that low for a long time so this is why they say that um, stochastic uh well when when stochastic is under 20 it's an oversold indicator so so meaning that the stock has been oversold and is going to go back up. I don't trend to uh, use the stochastic that way uh, that much, but maybe this is what is going to happen. So maybe it's going to bounce. I don't know. In terms of uh, MACD, so the two lines are negative and uh, the MACD is still bearish and the DMI is quite bearish also uh looking at the size between the green line and the red line so very bearish uh, so far but things can change tomorrow we never know the future so maybe the earnings will give a great news and it's quite possible that we have a green day tomorrow with a nice green candle everything is possible with the stock market so thank you very much for watching if you subscribe, you will be notified every day when I produce uh, a Palantir video. Thank you for liking, commenting. I read all of the comments. Thank you for Patreoning. Thank you for Justin and Mary Beth for encouraging me. And uh, we also have a discount server that's completely free. You can go there and find the like-minded people to discuss technical analysis with. So I'm going to wish you a great evening and we are going to talk tomorrow. À la prochaine.